PYTBC. It's good fight fans, boxing heads around the world. B Marsh with another boxing video. So in this day in boxing history, August 8th, 19 I said August, excuse me. 19 September 8th, 1950. Willie Sandler, the featherweight champion of the world, gets in the ring with the man Sandy Sadler. Now you know these guys are uh, two guys in the Boxing Hall of Fame, two boxing legends, you know. Some of the first guys to go into the Boxing Hall of Fame when it was first um, in its in inauguration, I think, in 1990. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, these two guys, they fought a, a total of four times, you know what I'm saying, in four fights. And uh, to say the least, these two, these fights that these two uh, guys had between them, man, were, were some of the dirtiest fights you might ever see in a boxing ring, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? These two guys really wanted to hurt each other, you know what I mean? Maybe because it was a robbery, you know, these two guys were from the New England area. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Willie Pep was from uh, Connecticut. And the man Sadie Sadler was from, uh, was from Boston, Massachusetts, you know? So, you know, the man... Um, I believe this was, um, was this, I think this was the third fight between them, you know what I'm saying? Um, the first fight, um, Sandy Sadler beat, he beat Willie Pep. Um, he knocked him out in four rounds, you know what I'm saying? He beat him up in four rounds, you know what I mean? Um, the second fight was the rematch. And, and actually, that first fight, Willie Pep was the featherweight champion of the world, you know what I mean? And he got beat. Um, Sadly, Sadler took his belt. Um, the second fight, Sandy Sadler um, lost. He lost on points, you know what I'm saying? He lost a 15-round decision to um, Willie Pep in a brutal fight, you know what I'm saying? It was a fight where Willie Pep, he won the fight, but he got severe damage in that fight, man. He was, man, both his eyes was busted, his nose, man. He took a thorough beating in that fight, you know what I mean? And this right here is the third fight, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this third fight right here was in um, in the Bronx, New York, in uh, Yankee Stadium, you know what I'm saying? It was Sandy Sadler and Willie Pep. And, you know, um, let's get into it, man. Round one, you know, the man um, Sandy Sadler was basically controlling the fight with his jab, you know what I'm saying? He was, um, you know, he's definitely the taller guy. You know what I mean? He's the taller guy and definitely got the longer reach, you know what I'm saying? You can see right there. You know, and the man was controlling the fight with his jab. Willie Pep is a guy who, who moves a lot, you know what I'm saying? He's a guy who's a mover, you know, he throws his jab or, you know, is attempting to, you know what I'm saying? He does a decent job, you know, he throws a couple, um, a couple, um, kind of body punches, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, nothing that um, is stopping the man, Sandy Sandler, from being the aggressive fighter and, and the come forward fighter, you know what I'm saying? So Sandy Sadler is definitely being patient, and that's one thing about him. He was a patient fighter, you know what I mean? Always fought behind his jab, you know what I'm saying? If, you on, if you've only watched Sandy Sadler fights versus uh, Willie Pep, you, you would think he's, he's a guy who goes for blood in this. You know, he was a, definitely a devastating knockout artist, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing about him, you know what I mean? And he was definitely the second man to beat Willie Pep. You know, I believe when he beat Willie Pep, well, um, Willie Pep was like 134 wins, one loss, and one draw, you know what I'm saying? With uh, with only like 43 KOs, you know? So he was the second man to beat Willie Pep. Like I said, he had 134 wins and only one loss before Sadie Sadler beat him, you know what I mean? So, you know, in this particular film, they don't show, they show, it goes a few rounds, but, you know, they don't show um, like round two. Round four, they don't show the even rounds. It's more the odd rounds, you know what I mean? So round three, jab, um, the man, Sandy Sadler, you know, he's throwing the jab, you know. He's barely throwing his um, um, right hand, you know what I'm saying? Them fellas is more throwing the jab and he's throwing some hooks with the left hand, you know what I mean? You check it, you know. Um, he has Sandy Sadler at one point in time in round three on the ropes, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he's pounding him to the body, you know what I'm saying? You know, the man, Willie Pep, in that round three, he's, throwing, he's he's moving a lot, you know? You know, he's basically on the retreat, you know what I'm saying? He, um, the man, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Sandy Sadler is definitely the come forward fighter. 
and Willie Pep is barely throwing punches, you know what I mean? But in this round three, he did land a nice three-punch combo, you know, two, two left hooks to the body, followed by a left hook to the head that kind of, not, not hurt Sandy Sandler, but kind of staggered him and moved him out of position, you know, kind of shifted his, his, um, his, uh, equilibrium, you know what I mean? His balance. You check it and, um, but before you knew it, round three, before that, and you know, Willie Pep, like I said, he wasn't throwing man, that many punches, but he gets caught with, um, by, by Sandy Sandler, by Sandy Sandler's signature punch, man. It's like a left uppercut hook, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of a half uppercut, half hook, and he catches him kind of leaping and definitely drops him, you know what I'm saying? You see, you see, that's the left hook right there that he's throwing. You just seen it right there on the film. You know what I'm saying? The man, um, that was Sandy Sadler's um, signature punch, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, he mostly throws his left hand, you know what I mean? You know, his, his right hand is devastating too because he was a knockout artist, one of the greatest uh, punches ever, you know what I mean? Definitely at featherweight too, you know what I'm saying? You check it, you see them left hooks. Them left hooks are kind of like a half hook, half uppercut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so the man Sandy Sadler, you see he's putting pressure on him. He's putting pressure on uh, on Willie Pep. And, um, you know, I just get into round five. And, um, you know, one thing they say about Willie Pep, there was always that legend about him how winning a round where he didn't throw any punch, you know what I'm saying? There goes the hook right there. Puts him on the canvas, you know what I'm saying? You check it. I go back to it if you if you missed it. Right there. Kind of leaping half hook, half uppercut. And that puts him on the canvas, you know what I mean? But I was going back to the myth and the legend of um, Willie Pep winning them um, rounds without without throwing a single punch, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I know you know there's no film of that, you know what I'm saying? And you know, the man Willie Pep, one thing I'll say in that round five, that's where you see how why this guy's defense is great, you know? In this particular fight, man, he's switching every single round. He's been switching his stance, you know what I'm saying? Being a switch hitter. But one thing he's doing when he's switching from um, orthodox to um, southpaw, he's not throwing any punches. He's switching on defense, you know what I'm saying? And giving Sandy Sadler different looks, you know what I mean? When Sandy Sandler's trying to load up, you check it? So, that particular round, round five, I thought the man Willie Pep did a good job. You know, he did throw some punches too. But like I said, when he switches his stance, it's only on defense. It's not to throw any punches. It's basically giving, um, trying to confuse the man Sandy Sadler, you know what I'm saying? Giving him a, a different look, you check it? And uh, that's out of this particular film. Like I said, they only show the even, the odd rounds. I definitely give that round to um, Sandy Sadler, you know. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm the Willie Pep, you know what I'm saying? Basically off of defense. And, you know, Sandy Sadler was trying to go in for the kill. You know, he's, he's loading up on his punches rather than throwing the jab like he had been doing um, every single round, you know what I'm saying? Up until this round where he's now just, you know, trying to maul the guy, you know what I mean? He's trying to get, he's trying to get close and, you know, just trying to maul the guy. Right there, that was a slip. That was a trip, actually. Not even a slip. The man Willie Pep tripped, um, what's his name? Um, Sandy Sandler, you know what I mean? You check it, so, you see, them fellas is switching. You see how he keeps switching his stances, right? You know what I'm saying? But it's not to be on an aggressive mode. It's basically just giving him di different looks, you know what I mean? Giving Sandler, Sandler a different look. And the, this is a round that I definitely gave the, um, you see, he landed some nice punches too, you know what I mean? When he set up his punches, you know, this was a round that I gave to Willie Pep, you know? You check it. And um, round seven, the man, um, Sandy Sadler, you know, he gets back to, Fighting behind his jab, you know what I'm saying? Sandy Sadler was a guy, like I said, barely threw his right hand. But when he did, it landed with severe and uh, concussive repercussions, you know what I mean? Because this guy, like I said, was one of the best knockout artists of his time and definitely one of the best knockout artists as a featherweight, you know what I mean? With Prince Nassim and these type of guys. You check it. Now, round seven, like I said, um, 
the man uh, Willie, P I'm sorry, Sandy Sadler's fighting more behind his jab, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he's winning the, the round. He's being patient, you know, throwing them left, left, left hook and left uppercuts, you know, his signature punch, you know what I'm saying? And um, unfortunately, you know, the man Willie Pep, he took a little beating in that round. And the man couldn't come out for the eighth round. So, you know, the man got retired before the eighth round started. He couldn't come off the stool. Why? Because the man suffered a dislocated shoulder. You know what I'm saying? The man dislocated his shoulder in that round and he didn't come off the stool. So the man Sandy Sandler won this fight. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, Sandy Sandler won... Um, Sandy Sadler won um, uh, uh, three of the four fights, you know what I'm saying? You check it, and also the fourth fight. The fourth fight was another dirty, one of the dirtiest fights, man, you'll ever see, you know what I'm saying? You should go ahead and try to check them fights. Go look for it on YouTube, you know what I mean? Then that was a fight that Sandy Sadler won again, you know what I'm saying? So he basically had Willie Pep's number, man, you know? He was a patient boxer, and he, you know... He defeated the um the uh, uh the tight defense of um the man um Willie Pep, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, these two guys had a rivalry, you know what I'm saying? Um that New England rivalry, you know, Connecticut versus Massachusetts, Boston, Massachusetts, where Sandy Sadler was from, you know what I mean? So, you know, that's my video, man. Um, you know, on this day in boxing history. Let me know what you guys think about these two guys and um this great rivalry they had, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, these two guys, like I said, they both in the Hall of Fame, you know, some of the greatest featherweights of all time. And, you know, these two guys, um, I had to definitely say this was a significant fight in their history because um, every single fight they fought in, in this uh, series they had was definitely a significant fight in boxing history, you know what I mean, because these two guys are Hall of Famers and... Um, you know, the man Sandy Sadler, man, he definitely uh, had the blueprint on how to, uh, the code on how to beat Willie Pep, you know what I'm saying? And he gave him a thorough beating in actually every single fight. Every single fight they had, Willie Pep took a thorough beating, you know what I'm saying? So let me know in the comments section what you, what these, what you think of these two guys in boxing history and about this particular fight and their whole series in general, you know what I mean? So this is B Marsh Boxing on this day in boxing history, September 8th, uh, 1950. Um, Sandy Sadler wins uh, the featherweight title off of um, Willie Pep. All right, B Marsh Boxing, thanks for listening. Peace.